Last Friday, something happened to me, which happens to a lot of Tesla owners. My screen, my big screen turned black and it didn't reboot anymore. It didn't do anything. I had, I had no heating anymore. I had no navigation. I had no autopilot. And it was because something was wrong in the screen. And that is not something which happened to me individually. That happens to a lot of people. And it's because some crazy chip in the EMCC is uh, broken. And um, I talked to Tesla, they said, okay, no problem, we'll come in three weeks, we'll have somebody to come to you, or you can come to the garage, we have to wait two months. And by the way, we'll just replace the whole EMC and it will cost you 3,000 euro. But luckily I got a tip from uh, Luke from opladkabels.nl and he basically helped me in a couple of, uh, in two days. So Luke, what happens? What happens when that screen becomes black? Usually it is because of the firmware in the car cannot be loaded. Mm -hmm. uh, then the user interface won't start and you cannot do anything basically. No heating, no... Mm -hmm. no it's sounds. just black. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's which chip is it? Uh, which is the problem? It's called the EMMC. It's a, like a SSD uh, hard drive, except then on a chip, on a printed circuit board. Yeah. Uh, teeny, teeny little, I'll just uh, put it in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 And it's, uh, how much gigabyte is that? The, def uh, the standard is uh, 8 uh, gigabytes. Yeah. And it's not a problem, the 8 gigabytes, but it's a problem with... There's enough space on the, yeah. on the chip, uh, but uh, the chip gets uh, tired after a, a, a certain amount of cycles. You can do limited read-write yes. circuits. Yes, yeah. very limited. And then uh, about 3,000 or something you said. Yes, yes. And in car age, that's somewhere between 2 and 5, 6 years. So my car is two years old, i driven 125,000 kilometers and it happened, it's a 2017 uh, car, but also old cars the, the, from 2013, 14, 15, everybody has it until, when did Tesla fix the problem? Uh, the fabric, uh, f the date changed in uh, February 2018. Yeah. After so that. every car be before 2018 April has this problem. After 100,000 kilometers or a little bit more or less, that chip basically breaks down and your screen becomes black. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Now I go to Tesla. I say I have a problem. What do they do? Uh, they will book you for an appointment, you have to wait a few weeks and they will swap the entire unit. So the whole MCU inclu including the screen will get uh, swapped. And that is uh, about uh, two and a half, three thousand euros. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, and it's only the problem is one chip. So what do what do you do? Uh, I change the chip. <laughs> yeah. uh, I read the old chip. Uh, in most cases, it will be still be readable, even if if the screen is black. You can still extract the data from it that is needed. Yeah. I fill in the gaps. So I use uh, like the, the Tesla firmwares uh, that are available. Yeah. Standard firmware, but yes. you have two certificates: uh, the digital certificate, yeah. which channel chip you need to put in. There. There's only two kilobytes of unique data in every car. Yeah. Uh, I only need those two files to make a complete working uh, MCU out of it. Yeah. And then you s you it's it's the main chip board, right? Yeah, it's um, it's now it's actually a sub board. It's an Nvidia Tegra board. Mm -hmm. They purchased it from Nvidia, and there the chip, the memory chip, is on there. Okay, and you, you basic and you get it out of the out of the uh, out of the printed circuit board. Yes, I lift a uh, uh, solder off the chip. I program new chip. Uh, put a new chip, solder it back on. I do some tests, and then it can go back in the car. And that happened to me because it's back in the car. I mean, uh, and it's uh, it's in one day he came, he fixed it, and he put it back in my car, and it works now like a charm. So, why does that chip fail all the time above the above uh, after the warranty time? After the warranty time, because the warranty is almost almost always over. Why does it fail? Uh, because Tesla uh, uses the the storage chip a lot, yeah. a lot more than it was designed for. Yeah. So that's why it fails after a few years. Yeah, so they should have just limited the amount of logging or they should have bought a chip which uh, which works fine. Because I mean, you replace it with a, a different chip, right? Yeah, a little bit larger and uh, rated for more cycles. Yeah. And so how much more cycles do I have now? The standard uh, chip has 3,000 uh, program recycles. Yeah. And the new one you have now is 20,000. So about seven times longer lifespan. Okay, so I can, uh, after 700,000 kilometers, my car has a, needs another. Yeah, in car years, that will be 20 years or 40, uh, yeah, somewhere in, in so I'm, I'm okay, but it, this is not happening unique to me. This happens to a lot of cars. How, how many cars do you do a, day, a week now? Uh, cars, I get uh, about 5 to 10 a week, uh, but some uh, garages or uh, people send uh, their MCUs or Tegra boards by mail.
so I can do a lot more. Yeah, yeah. I'm li limited in space for the cars, but uh, I have enough uh, capacity to, to, to do the prints. And there's more people doing this, right? In America, I saw people do this. Yes, there are a few in America, Canada, uh, Europe. Europe, not so much yet. So uh, yeah. So you're unique. Uh, you can uh, have a unique surface here. Uh, but I mean, this is just the wrong design of the software and the wrong uh, pick of the uh, of the chip. Uh, yes, basically, it's a combination of things. Yeah. yeah. And so there's a lot of discussion on all the bulletin boards, and people mm -hmm. are upset about it. Uh, but and and what what is the discussion in general? I mean, aren't people? Isn't there a lawsuit somewhere that people say this this is bad design? Yeah, I think so. I think I've heard about people that are suing Tesla or uh, asking the, them to replace it for uh, no, at no charge. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And if you of course go and if you discuss with Tesla and and basically make it a little bit more powerful than a lot of times they basically do it, they, they fix it anyway. But I mean, this was two days. I, I only waiting for an appointment to get my whole thing replaced would have taken a long time. So um, so this, how did you stumble on this, uh, on this repair? Uh, very simple, I got it on my own car. <laughs> so uh, one day uh, last year. Yeah, there's your car, the, the P85, yes. that's your uh, 90, P90, you had the same problem. Yes, it's a 2015 car uh, in early 2019, so only when the car was four years old, 130,000 kilometers on the counter. Uh, then it had a black screen. Yeah. I went to Tesla, they reflashed the firmware, it worked. I was super happy, yeah. but two weeks after that, the screen went black again and I couldn't fix it. They quoted me 3,000 euros to fix it, and I said, mm, I have to think about it. So I started to take it apart myself. Yeah. I learned how to program a new unit. I got a salvage unit at first to t test some things. It worked with the help of some uh, very clever people. Uh -huh. And then I started digging in how the system works and trying uh, my own. Yeah. You come out of the phone world, right? Yeah, I used to repair uh, mobile phones. Yeah, yeah. So this is a good preparation for Tesla? Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's basic. It's uh, just like uh, another computer. It, is, it has chips on a big uh, ball grid array. They're f very small, but they can be soldered off and off, uh, on and off if you know how to do it. Yeah. Well, I have to give uh, Luc a compliment because I uh, basically I complained in a WhatsApp group and people said, hey, this Luke knows how to do it. I basically WhatsApped him and he says, hey, I'm on my way. I'm 150 kilometers away. I'll drive to your place in Amsterdam. He came, he uh, took the the EMC, uh, the MCC uh, apart, and the next day I'm here at his home, and uh, my car works like a charm. So, um, how much is the cost of uh, this repair? Uh, for full car charge, including the disassembly and assembly, it's 550 euros. Um, including VAT, yeah? Yes, yeah. and if uh, garages or people bring their uh, own MCU, yeah. uh, it's 350, yeah. Okay. So very quick and very affordable. Thank you very much, Luke. Appreciate it. You're welcome.